Hi guys. So we have seven kids, two adults, so nine people on a 1966 GM Buffalo bus. So we're in the middle of doing it over. We haven't even gone anywhere yet. The place has to be wired up and everything, but let's let's check it out. So here it is when you come in. The stairs aren't done, obviously. Uh, thinking about doing some diamond plate here with some barn wood. Some uh, barn wood and diamond plate here. Heater still works and everything. So when you first come in, uh, when you have seven kids, you have to have a place to put shoes. So under here, little hidden spot, take your shoes off on the way in. That goes down, that does lock right here. Uh, old vintage garbage can. That's gonna be our trash can, the lid. Also, uh, you know, you can put your coffee on there when you're driving. As you can see, I haven't done anything with the cockpit yet. It's all just there. We did both the seat in there. It's a four speed Spicer with a 871 Detroit pusher. Here's all the gauges here. Uh, nothing's wired up. Uh, I got a painless wiring kit here. I feel like it's going to be pretty painful, but you know, we'll do our best. Here's the dash, original. We'll clean that up, paint it. This works. Kids love this part. They play school bus all day. It's a 1966, so I don't have to worry about them breaking it. So check this out. Here's a little desk here. That's a passenger seat. It flips around, swivels, all that. Here's a control panel here. Got the electrical. Gen start. Battery charge on and off. Little table here. Uh... Our baby Willow, well she's not a baby, she's three, but she's babied us at seven. Uh, we're gonna put the car seat right there, strap it in. Give you a look here, full full look. So we got tongue and groove on the ceiling. Wayne's coat and sides. Pretty light, I mean, the only structure is under here. Those are, uh, those are one and a half by two and a half inch boards. Um, and then everything's just wrapped around it. As you see, we still need to get cushions and everything. We're gonna do black foam cushions. Be easier to clean with kids. Made this, uh, got 12 volt charger here. And then a cigarette charger there. That's not screwed in yet. So, uh, you know, iPad goes there. You sit here, you can kick back or you can swivel around, talk with the driver, see where you're going. We got the two benches here, which double as beds. Thinking about making a uh, removable bunk bed that we can carry under and put it up here. You know, if we're, we're at a park and we're sleeping, then, then we'll have four up front. I'll show you my other little trick in the back here. Stay tuned here. Let's see. 35 gallon fresh water under here. 12 volt pump. Uh, not not wired up yet, but it's in there. I'm gonna wire that up, put a switch somewhere. Right here, cut out the floor. Uh, gonna do a pipe ladder down here. Uh, and close the bottom just like up here. Be like a little bunkhouse for the kids when we're when we're parked. Be pretty cool. Got some LEDs coming for up here, so it'll shine down. You know, it'd be kind of cool. Space age. Here's the sink. Cool part about the sink you know it's not the most big stink we plan on doing most of our cooking and eating outside because we have seven children this is cool in case you got to fill a bucket or something put that in now cutting board removable have a buddy he's gonna make some uh, hold downs for it you know so it's not why we're driving down the road right here custom knives are gonna go right here those aren't done yet um, do an ice machine over here Got to have ice on board. Over here, coffee maker. So up here I got coffee, that'll be sugar, that's powder creamer, and uh, filters. Onboard heat, Suburban, propane. Uh, keep you toasty, you know, fall, spring. Gonna do a magnetic uh, spice rack right here. 
Here's the oven. This is brand new. We haven't even fired it up. Probably gonna sell this one and go with a black one just so it just so it jives better. The bright white, I don't know, just doesn't do it for me. Put the frying pans up here. Gonna build a little latch system right here, you know, so they're not swaying all over the place while we're driving. We're Bonnie and Clyde here. It's also a bottle opener, 50 cal. I did six years in the military, so I love stuff like that. Here's the fridge, three-way fridge, so it's gas, uh, regular 110 electric, and uh, also does 12 volt freezer, nice and cold. Fridge, plenty of beer and apples, keep you going. Like I said, we haven't hit the road yet, we're still working on this. So up here, I was thinking, uh, do all cannon jars with food in them, build a bar system right here, keep them from, uh, from from moving around. Same thing here, this is gonna be our pantry. Fill that up. And then anybody that knows us knows you can't hit the road without bourbon or whiskey. So we got those implanted in the wall. I have thought of putting like a little LED light up here so it shines down on it. Again, another bar system will go across here. Keep the bottle secure while we're rolling. We got Taylor, one of our favorites. We got a straight rye, single barrel, small batch, and one more single barrel. And you can see here, someone's been sipping on that bottle. Here's the bathroom. Little sink there. Put the toothbrushes and everything down there. Compost toilet, brand new. I didn't paint or stain anything in here yet. I'm still uh, deciding what I want to do. Figured I'd wait till I, you know, finalize everything out here and then move in there. Here's uh outdoor shower hookup. Like I said, none of the water's hooked up yet. I still gotta plumb it all. Uh, toilet, pretty cool. I mean, fence up here. Hook that up. No smell, no no problems. And then uh, here's the master bedroom for me and the queen. Going for like that ship look. TV, gotta hook up electric back here. Queen size bed with storage underneath. Opens here, there, there, and then back there you can open and uh, get close to the uh, engine. Some dressers. Go back through and show you it one last time here. Got any questions, put them down in the comments. Any any concerns, you know, you can put them in the comments. This is our first uh, coach build, so we got both uh, electric and uh, 12 volt. And then electric on that side. Put this little curtain up here. So here it looks going this way. So subscribe to our channel. Uh, we're gonna start posting videos as we go building it. Uh, you can see what we do. You can watch us build out the basement. Uh, we also have some other cool videos with our cars and chickens and ducks and kids running around. Um, around here, I'm gonna put one inch rope. Have it like uh, looking kind of like a ship, you know? I was thinking put a TV right here. She's just concerned because uh, the driver will be right there listening to the TV while the kids are but it keeps them busy, you know. This chair turns back and forth. We're gonna trade that out for one with a recline in the front. So here it is. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Love to read your comments. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Uh, we'll post a video of the outside also in the undercarriage.